How's it going, everybody? My name is Waddles, and welcome to the Enchantment Guide, or um, the Sword Enchantment Guide. <laughs> there we go, that's a lot better. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to thank Crystal Cat for this idea. Last week, I did an Enchantment Guide video on treasure enchantments, and Crystal Cat said, hey, could you do more on the other enchantments? So, I think that is what I'm going to begin doing today we'll see though if you like the idea uh, leave a like and i'll keep doing them but today i will be going over all of the sword enchantments in our nice and cozy little library here enchantment by enchantment and then talking about what is my favorite sword <laughs> so we'll start off right here i've laid out all of the sword enchantments along the walls here but first off is unbreaking Unbreaking is an enchantment that you can throw on your sword. There's no andesite there. I will be showcasing a lot of these enchantments, but some of them can't be showcased, and Unbreaking is one of those. Unbreaking will increase the durability of your sword. If you've enchanted anything in Minecraft, I'm sure you've seen Unbreaking because it can go on pretty much every single tool. Unbreaking is a wonderful thing to have on anything because it increases the lifespan, the durability of that sword it has a chance to take no damage when you use it that's how that's working there are three levels of unbreaking unbreaking three being of course the best moving on over to fire aspect this is a cool enchantment this is one that i can show off fire aspect will light things on fire so here's a zombie here's a normal hit with the zombie you know no fire but with fire aspect we light the zombie on fire. <laughs> now, there are two layers of this enchantment, or tiers. The higher tier of fire aspect, which is what I have on my sword, I believe I have um, fire aspect 2, will deal more fire damage than the lower fire aspect tier. The cool thing about fire aspect is that when you're killing cows or chickens or anything that really drops uncooked food, raw food usually... If you kill it with a fire aspect sword, the food will be cooked, which is really nice. Definitely could save you a whole lot of coal or charcoal or whatever. Moving on to the next enchantment, sharpness 5 in this case. But there are five different tiers of this sharpness enchantment. Sharpness is probably my favorite enchantment. Honestly, it's pretty useful because it increases the damage that your sword will deal by a whole lot if we look at the potential damage coming from the swords and compare them in the menu here we have seven attack damage from a normal plain old diamond sword and then from a sharpness five diamond sword we are up to 10 attack damage now i don't believe you can necessarily always see this difference right here we have four hits okay we will see the difference and then with the sharpness five we should have three hits to kill the zombie just like that so you can definitely see why i like sharpness if i'm getting like hoarded by a bunch of mobs the sharpness five stuff is really nice to have definitely helps you clear out a room a cave a whole lot faster whatever you're trying to clear out it helps you out and this is definitely like a must have on your sword Next up, we have Looting 3, which is another enchantment that I can't really show off, so I'll talk about it. Looting will increase the odds of your treasure drops from mobs. Now, they aren't technically called treasure drops, but for example, I'm talking about iron from a zombie or carrots from a zombie. Looting will also increase the quantity of items that you can get from a mob. So let's say we're killing a cow and... For example, we usually get maybe one leather. With looting, maybe you'll get two or three or four or whatever amount of leather. Those, of course, are not exact numbers, but it's just for the sake of an example. Now, there are three tiers of looting, looting one, two, and three, of course. And with each tier of looting, that chance of those special drops increases. So let's say we're trying to get a trident from a drowned. You're going to probably want a looting three sword because that is going to increase the odds at which that trident will drop from the drowned. I think that's pretty much the best way to explain it. And looting is probably my second favorite or maybe my third favorite sword enchantment. However, moving on from Looting 3, we have another enchantment we can't really show off, and that is Mending. If you saw my treasure enchantment video from last week, you probably know about Mending. 
Mending is an enchantment that will take XP, and instead of putting that XP towards your level, put it towards the tool that it is on. So that means when you're killing mobs like skeletons, zombies, anything that drops XP, your sword will get healed. This will make your sword potentially pretty much infinite in a way. If you're consistently killing things that drop XP with your sword, your sword is going to keep repeatedly healing up and eventually just maxing out at perfect durability and then the xp will as usual go to your level mending is pretty cool but it's actually not one of my favorite sword enchantments it does make your sword though like i said pretty much non-breakable like if you're killing things with a sword you're pretty much going to get xp i can't think of a situation where you wouldn't get xp so your sword is just permanent <laughs> which in my opinion is nice but it's just not one of my favorites next up is another enchantment that i can't show off and it is the curse of vanishing if you saw the treasure enchantment video again you know about this curse curse of vanishing is an enchantment or a curse that makes your sword vanish when you die it doesn't matter how good the durability is on your sword or whatever the sword will disappear when you die. You can drop the sword like normal. However, if you die with the sword in your inventory, it is gone. Goodbye. <laughs> now, both Mending and the Curse of Vanishing are treasure enchantments. That means you cannot get these enchantments from a crafting or an enchantment table, excuse me. Moving on to the Sweeping Edge enchantment. Sweeping Edge is probably my second or third favorite sword enchantment. I really like this enchantment. Sweeping Edge increases the sweeping damage your sword will do. So right here I have a plain old diamond sword and I'm swinging at this zombie and the other one was taking sweeping damage before it tried to walk away. Now, if I have Sweeping Edge 3 on my sword and I swing at this zombie, this zombie is taking a little bit more sweeping damage, which is really, really nice if you have like a mob grinder of some sort or just a big pile up of mobs. Sweeping Edge, when paired with Sharpness 5, really helps you clear out an area. And that is why I like Sweeping Edge edge now like i said there are three tiers of sweeping edge each tier doing a little bit more sweeping damage moving on over to probably a lot of people's least favorite sword enchantment that is knockback knockback will do exactly what it sounds like it'll do so right here there's a normal sword swinging at a skeleton it kind of jumps back however if we take a knockback two sword the skeleton is literally thrown back the reason a lot of people don't like this enchantment is because let's say we are fighting a skeleton you don't want to knock the skeleton away from you right you want to have up close um range right because if you knock the skeleton away from you the skeleton will shoot you while you try to run back to the skeleton for another hit that is kind of the same for other mobs you're going to push zombies away from you and then you need to chase them to kill them it's nice for clearing mobs away from you in a sticky situation however more often than not it's a pain because it's pushing things away and you have to go chase them uh, a little bit more. It is my least favorite sword enchantment, as is true for probably a lot of other players. There are two tiers of knockback. Each tier will increase the distance at which a mob is thrown from the player. Moving on from knockback, we have smite five. Now, there are five tiers of smite just like there are for sharpness and the next enchantment which will be bane of arthropods smite increases your damage against undead mobs undead mobs are i believe the biggest category of mobs in the game or at least hostile mobs an undead mob is a skeleton a zombie a phantom so again right here is a plain old diamond sword on the skeleton right here four hits and then with smite five we get two hits which is pretty nice now this again is for undead mobs so this isn't going to help against spiders if you're looking to increase the strength of your sword against maybe spiders or endermites so you're looking for the bane of arthropods enchantment bane of arthropods is very similar to smite Bane of Arthropods has five tiers, just like Smite and just like Sharpness, and each tier does a little bit more damage. First off, the plain old Diamond Sword against a plain old Spider, and then the Bane of Arthropod Sword against the Spider. Just completely destroys these things. Like, the sword is so, so 
good. <laughs> However, the unfortunate thing about Smite and Bane of Arthropods is they are mutually exclusive. You also cannot have sharpness on there, so that is mutually exclusive as well. Basically, what I'm saying is you can't have a sharpness for, like, Bane of Arthropods 3 sword. These enchantments cannot go on the same sword. So you're going to need to choose. Do you want a sword that's really good against spiders? Do you want a sword that's really good against, like, zombies and skeletons? Or do you want a good sword that's just good against everything? Not as good against zombies or spiders, but everything. That's why I tend to pick sharpness 5 over Bane of Arthropods 5 or Smite 5. I just like the idea of having a generally good sword instead of a sword that is specifically good. So that goes over everything that I had laid out right here in the top of this chest. You can't have Smite, Sharpness, and Bane of Arthropods on the same sword. But my OP sword, my favorite sword in survival that you can make, it's expensive to make, but you can make it, is this sword right here. <laughs> it is stacked with enchantments. We have Sweeping Edge 3, Fire Aspect 2, Mending, Looting 3, Sharpness 5, and then, of course, Unbreaking. Now, like I said, you can make this in survival with enchanted books or with combining swords or whatever. It is possible, uh, and it's it's pretty nice to have. <laughs> like, it's, it's strong. It's my favorite sword, even though I like bows a little bit more than swords. So sometimes I believe you can get a critical hit on a creeper, and it will die from the fire damage. So we just got a critical on the creeper, and if we give it some time, like in a survival setting, we would be backing up or running away right there. The creeper just dies one hit. That is so, so nice. That's why I like fire aspect. I also tend to kill a lot of cows, and again, the cooked meat thing, that is really, really nice. Looting is always helpful in terms of getting rarer drops or the drops that the skeleton is holding if it has an enchanted bow and I wanted to see what it is, looting is the way to go. However, that is the sword enchantment guide for you. I know the video was a little bit longer and I'm sorry about that. I just wanted to explain everything pretty well. But what do you think? Did I miss something? Did I mess something up? If, if I did, I'm sorry. Make that aware to me down below. And what guide do you want to see next? Do you want the bow guide next? Do you want the shear guide next? Tell me what you're thinking down below and I can start to work on it. And again, thanks to Crystal Cat for this idea. Leave a like on this video if you liked it or if it helped you or if it entertained you and consider subscribing. If you want to support me directly, I do have a link to a Patreon page down below. My name is Waddles, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Go have a good day, goodbye everybody.